we're going to talk about whether you should invest in real estate or Bitcoin. And we're going to start right now. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I'm a mortgage broker located in Vancouver and welcome to another video. If this is first time here and you want to learn ways to be approved for mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. Bitcoin has been the best performing asset in 2020 and it's also the most controversial asset as well. Bitcoin started in 2009 and since its inception, it has grown by 9 million percent. Yes, you heard it right, 9 million percent. But of course, throughout that time, there has been ups and downs and like huge ups and downs. Bitcoin is highly speculative. There has also been news of theft, fraud, price manipulation, scams and government blocking access to Bitcoin. But recently, mainstream adoption has really helped increase the price a lot. News of Tesla, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan investing in Bitcoin, and PayPal and American, and American Express providing a way for people to purchase goods using Bitcoin. So should you sell everything and buy Bitcoin? I mean, it has returned of 9 million percent. You would, you would have been a billionaire by now if you started investing from the beginning. Although the returns are still quite attractive, I would still stick with real estate. And here are my reasons. Number one, regulations. Bitcoin is still quite new and it's not really regulated. Real estate, on the other hand, is an asset that is highly regulated with the government. There are laws and rules in place when you purchase and manage them. Number two, free market. Real estate is widely adopted by many people as a true asset. There's a free market where everyone has access to it. You know how many listings are available for sale. Whereas Bitcoin may or may not be a free market. Do we really know how many Bitcoins are available? The price can be easily manipulated and because there's not much reg um, government regulations, there can be price fixing. There's no requirements of any auditing of any sort. Number three, price volatility. I understand people want Bitcoin to be known as an actual currency, but how can it be a currency if the price volatility and fluctuation swings up and down so much? It can go up and down by like 50 to 70% within a week. Real estate doesn't have the same returns as Bitcoin, but the price is much more stable. There's always a need and a base price for the asset. Next is cash flow. Bitcoin doesn't pay any dividends. You only gain if the price goes up. Real estate, on the other hand, can provide a constant flow of income if you're renting it out. As you can see, I'm leaning more towards real estate. But I don't want to discourage anyone to invest in Bitcoin. Because really, if you did invest all your money in Bitcoin these last few years, you would be filthy rich. As long as you know the risk and you're willing to lose what you put in, then for sure, invest in it. For me, I have a family to look after and putting my money in Bitcoin is just way too risky for me. I don't think I'll be able to sleep at night. But I wouldn't mind putting in, say, $1,000 in Bitcoin just to have some sort of exposure in it. If I lose it, so be it. It won't have much impact. But for the majority of my assets, I will invest in what I know, and that's real estate and stocks. And there you go. We just talked about whether you should invest in real estate or Bitcoin. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more. And make sure you click on the notification bell. Uh, make sure to click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.